your two shillings. Mercy, my lord! You've had a week to find it, and I'll pay up. If he's no money, take goods to the value. Mercy, mercy! If he's nothing of value, take him. This is the king's annual duty to finance his crusade against the heathen. You can't pay, you go to prison. Sheriff's decree, no exceptions, no tolerance. Next cottage. Gisborne's man. Now we know why Luke couldn't make the weapons drop. If the king knew what was being done in his name. Alice. John, come here a moment. No! Act normal, we don't know anything. Ah, oh, the Cooper. He owes three shillings. Take what you want. I've no money left to give you. Goods to the value. Move! And you! You could hardly pay the tithe rent as it was. And now another tax. It's stupid to go on like this, Alice. I'm fond of you and the boy. As man and wife, we could cover the taxes. No! Get away from there! Leave Come here, brat. John! Here, here, sir. I've, I've tools that must be worth a few coins. Take them. Leave My lord, weapon. Well, well, well. Saracen design. Where does a Loxley Cooper learn this type of work? There's only one Englishman I know that uses a bow like this. Collaborate with outlaws, and you will be punished like an outlaw. Take him away. No! Go no! Back! John! No! No! no. 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 Sir, sir! Please! I, I beg you, don't hurt the boy! My apprentice! He's in the sand! Front! Oh, we must make an example of him. Take the boy too. Leave him alone! Take your hands off my son! John, John! There were too many! He's in the sand! John! He's my son! And we will help him, but not this way. Stop. We need the others. The coach is too well guarded. Okay. I will not let you do this. It is too reckless. They have my son! I value your life too highly! Him, I value more! Clear the path! Move that branch out of the way! Get that log here! Go on! Put your backs into it!
Wife, and we've got deliveries to make. There's some coins, sir. Ah, oh, there she is. Her husband died two nights ago. The sheriff's men beat him up. It's a gift from Robin Hood. She looks like a vagrant to me, and a brat. Where'd you steal this from, then, eh? Go quickly. Thank you. Get them! Make way for the prisoners. I've had one of these pointed in my face before, very pretty. What does this have to do with the King's annual duty? We found this whilst collecting in Loxley. The man that made it has been supplying Robin Hood. And you have him here, in the dungeons. Ah, well now you interest me. Our troops could benefit from this bow maker's skill. We must learn from him. Learn? We should execute him. Do I detect a note of sourness in your tone, Gisborne? Mm -hmm. Disillusioned with life as Lord of Loxley Manor? Mm -hmm. Peasants don't like it very much. Wish Robin Hood had come back. Oh, what a shame. If a peasant defies us, we must punish him. Hard. We must make an example of him in front of the rest. We must make an event of it. An event? Why not? I'll invite all the leaders of the local community. Attendance compulsory. We should be very creative in our use of punishments. The skirt, I love a good lashing. Mutilation, of course, torture. But right here, right here in the Great Hall, a festival of pain. Oh. Oh. We need to use our heads. This is not just about John. Luke the Cooper was trying to help us, and the boy. We have a responsibility to them, too. I did not know John had a family. Well, neither did he till recently. Well, as soon as the sheriff realises one of us, he'll be hanged. That's the thing. The sheriff won't necessarily know. Well, he's... Without these, he's just another outlaw. He's never been just another outlaw. You think the sheriff cares if he wears one of these or not? He's right. They'll hang him anyway. Which is why we need a really good plan. Most unfortunate. Craftsmen like you wasting your skills on outlaws. I've always admired artisans. Make me Saracen war bows like Robin Hood's, and all this will stop. I might even allow you a little more time to pay your taxes. Mm -hmm. Such talent. All going to waste. Continue. If he doesn't speak, well, start a good boy. Please, why won't you let me through? He's just a little boy. No. If I could just speak to the sheriff. I just want to see my son. Why won't you let me through? I just need to see him. The 
seems the sheriff is determined to arrest half of Nottingham. Just reminding them of their obligations to the sheriff and the king, and of their loyalty to their betters. Well, if their obligations are higher and higher taxes, is it any wonder they need reminding of their loyalty? They have nothing to give, and yet they are being punished. Ah, Marion, I thought I heard your voice. Charming as ever, even in dissent. Who is the one who took out a squad of soldiers single-handed? This one, sir. Hmm, huh. ugly brute. And yet, I feel I've seen him somewhere before. Do you think he looks like one of Robin Hood's men, ma'am? Outlaws all look the same to me. Huh. No necklace, sir. Obviously just a common brute. Certainly looks wild enough, though. Not so tough now, are we, eh, wild man? <laughs> Certainly beat some civilization into you. Roll on tomorrow's entertainments. Entertainments? Festival of pain. And throw that brute into the dungeons. Soften him up. How do you know where you can stick your pipe to? Come here, you toe rag. You know where to meet with the horses. Around the back of the trip to Jerusalem in. When we rescue them, we need to leave here fast. So don't be late. How about this then? Your mother wouldn't recognize you. <laughs> Come on, let's get on with it. Will, consider yourself under arrest. You cannot seriously countenance such cruelty. Marianne. It is not punishment, it is barbaric. Delicious, is it not? Hmm? There is an air of poetry about it, the poetry of pain. Oh. Our peasant's advocate seems rather upset with me, Gisborne. Shh. Drip, drip, drip. I can hear her heart bleed from here. <laughs> Fear humbles even the most rebellious spirit, my dear. Robin Hood himself will come to fear me one day in time. My lord, do not forget the wagon where the king's duty leaves for London tomorrow. That is your responsibility, Gisborne. Just make sure it's secure. Take the whole garrison if needs be. I would hate to be in your shoes if this fell into outlaws' hands. Especially after all the trouble we went to collecting it. <laughs> is the castle guard sufficient for your entertainment? No. Yeah. Take all you need. I presume you are going to accompany the cart personally. I will take the wagon as far as the Hooton Crossroads from there to Garrison from Mansfield will be escorting it as far as London. Lardy, dardy, da. Only a fool would attack against such odds. I'll make you out of here. I'll make you a bow of your own. I'll teach you how to use it. We'll hunt together. You just show me. Forgive the child, friend. He's frightening us all. It's him. That's the man that attacked the guards on the road from Loxley. You tried to rescue us. What do our troubles mean to you? Are you Robin Hood? <sighs> no. Then, why? Little John, leave the poor man alone. You and me, we met before. I don't remember. Sorry. Get along there. One. 
on that excellent. That Oi, hurts. Don't overdo it, Alan. Hold it there. We've got another one foot dungeon here. All right. Go on then. Come on then. Get along there. Then. What? Hey, calm down. Where do you think you're going? Another prisoner for dungeons. You're too late. It's full. Put him over there with that lot. This one seems familiar. He's a known troublemaker. Chain him up with the others. Yeah, they'll all get what's coming to them. Some money. I heard there were families down there, children. Do they have enough food and water? This is not some soft inn for their pleasure, my lady. That is no reason to ill-treat them. Actually, I thought I might be able to see the wild man. I'm rather intrigued. No, can't let you in. Sorry. I want every entrance covered. Guy, I was just looking for my portmanteau. I, I don't know whether they just took it from the horse already or I will where. have it brought to your room. I'm glad you decided to stay. I didn't like to think of you all alone at night in the hall. I'm with your father away. May I pass? Oh, you. Got a job for you. Not you, Shirker. Have the Lady Marion's portmanteau taken from her horse in the stables and follow me with it to her chamber. Yes, my lord. Quickly! Oi. Are those the sacks of grain from Loxley? Uh, yeah. Well, move them into the stores then. Now! something else I can do for you? Nothing, thank you. Marion, uh, for some time now. I thought I would rest before dinner. Hear me out, please. Is there something the matter? No, I'm a little out of sorts, that is all. Since we came to our understanding, you have been constantly in my thoughts. Without you, I no longer feel quite whole. Please, Sir Guy, I would rather not talk about this now. Don't send me away. We should be spending more time together so that we can understand each other better. I want to know you. I'm sorry, I cannot. Marion, be with me. Please, Guy, not now. 
Perhaps you will at least think over what I've said. Tell them what they wanted. Brave man. Him? I like. Did you know my mother? I don't remember you. Unless. Mother said I dreamt it. There was a man once. He came to our house. He was from the forest. Well, that was real. That was me. What's your name? I did know your mother once. My father? He was big. A giant. Bigger than you, even. But I never knew him. John. We will get out of here. I promise you. You're mad to be here at all. Extra guards have been laid on. The place is full of prisoners. You know about the sheriff's plans for tomorrow? The punishments? Yes. And I intend to stop it. With what? You are few against many. We few have proved quite effective in the past. We will rescue them. All of them. I have a plan. Well, half a plan, I think. How? I never give up on anyone. You may discover it is too late for some. I mean, the way the prisoners have been treated. Most of them are beyond help. The bow maker of Loxley has already been tortured. A guy wanted a special example made of him. He is the first to be punished. Yet he plays the gallant gentleman. And he does so want to know you. You should be glad. It is because I know him I am able to tell you the revenue wagon leaves tomorrow for London with the King's annual duty. And? And the Sheriff thinks you will try to save your friend the bow maker whilst the wagon leaves unchallenged. Right. I have a plan. Well, where are they? He said don't be late. I mean, what if he can't rescue little John? What if the Sheriff's hanged him already? I mean, we, we've been late once before. Just shut up, okay? Shut up. Sorry. I have money. It's only a few coins, but if you let me through it... Go home, woman. Please, I... I want my son. Now, I'd like to sit on the right-hand side of Marion so I can actually see what a bleeding heart looks like. Of course, my lord, whatever you wish. My son! Hey, you can't go my in there. My son, you have imprisoned him. Get that woman out of here! He was arrested in Loxley this morning. He's just a boy. What'd you say? This is the business with the bowmaker and his boy. The outlaw collaborators. Oh, and this is the mother of the child. <laughs> oh, come, have some compassion. Gisborne? Surely she should be allowed to see her son. Such insistent maternal concern. Well, it should stir pity. Such a pretty face. Hmm? Should inspire our respect, but this one, <laughs> however, conceals deceit, <laughs> disloyalty. So, take her away. <laughs> Have her put in the cell with her son and the cooper. <laughs> one bad apple in the family, and we punish the whole barrel. What's going on? What's happening? I'm staying with you now. Luke. What have they done to you? John has been looking after me. Is he badly hurt? 
We'll get him out of here. That's what my friend said. Your friend? It wasn't a dream. The man from the forest. The one that came to our house. What's the matter? You're alive. Festival of pain, you will help John and these other prisoners escape. Do you think these men are with us? They've got nothing else to lose. I'll get word to Mudge and Jack. I'll come back tonight. Right, scum. You are not to speak to him again. Always your eyes. No one. Dead man. But he's here now. With us. First and last time. Alice, please. Do not speak to me. You gave up that right long ago. It's mine. Is she who I think she is? Burns have given you a fever. John, stay away from that. I'm sorry. I can't be your friend anymore. I know. I said stay away from him. Alice, it's not the boy's fault. He is not your friend. He's not anybody. You understand? Aren't we in enough trouble? And he's in the same situation. We all need each other now. Mother! Alice. Alice, perhaps the boy should know. John. This man. What is it? John, I am your father. Stop worrying. I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. I'm just... All will be fine. Oi! What do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, nothing. Just, ah, uh, my horse. It's lame and, uh... I just wanted to rest him here and... Then, uh... All right, don't it's me! Don't do that! Where have you been? Where's little John? There's been a change of plan. Change of plan? I found the distraction we needed. We're still rescuing little John. Of course we are! And Luke the Bowmaker, and the boy, and Alice Little, and all the other prisoners. Oh, and the tax money? Not a big change, then. You let me believe you were dead. I was outlawed. If I'd stayed... You might have seen your son born and provided for your family. Where were you those winters your baby son was sick with hunger? Or the first summer he had to work alongside me in the field so he could earn enough to buy a loaf of bread? Where were you when the sheriff's guard did that to his leg? When you were younger, before they told me your father was dead. I used to tell you he would come home to us one day because I wanted to believe it myself. And then, every time you heard a horse pass through the village, you'd run out to see who it was, just in case. The sheriff's mounted guard would not stop for a peasant boy standing in the road. You would have been outlawed too. It was better just to 
to die. We could have started again somewhere else. A new name. I would have followed you anywhere, John. Not that it matters. We're all outlaws here. And tomorrow we shall suffer for it. Why do we want the sacks of grain? So Gisborne can take them to London. No, Robin. Stores are down here, the kitchen's this way. First things first. We secure the revenue money. Come on. Well, you rob and murder and do what you do. Alice, leave him. I have never killed, except to defend myself. I robbed to survive. But no, I, I, I robbed to help others. What? That Robin Hood? Yes, I, I am one of Robin Hood's men. But you don't wear a tag. Lou told me that all of Robin's men wear tags. <sighs> I, I lost them. And you expect us to believe you? It's the truth, Alice. One lie was enough, John. Perhaps it's better for us all if you just stay dead. In fact, I wish you were dead. Then we won't hear your lies. The back parry originates in Fiorentina. You've got to master that one first, Niall. We've come to relieve you lot. You're early. Hey, cheer up, lads. Get the night off. What are you on about? Oh, oh look what I found. Come on. Let's get to work. Lovely money. Morning, everybody, and welcome to my festival of pain. I want to talk to you about community taxes. Taxes are a fact. The cost of living in a free country. Now, if you do not pay your taxes, then you sacrifice that freedom and must be punished accordingly. I am sick and tired of your sob stories. Can't pay. Too old. Too sick. Is this going to help our beloved king in Acre? Mm? <laughs> A clue. No. Those that understand this, they will survive. For those who defy me, well, the chair of delight. Whoa. John, get behind me. Stay behind me. You're still my friend. Forgive me. Alright, it's all there, sir. Ready to roll? These prisoners do not pay their way. They help those that seek to undermine my authority. Therefore, they must all be punished. <laughs> They're the only ones to suffer, do you? No, no, no. No, because they do not pay their dues. We, the good citizens, well, we have to pay more. And how on earth are we supposed to support our king's glorious crusade? Thank you. If they were to pay their taxes, then we and the community would pay less. So you see, what I'm actually trying to do is lower taxes. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Well, feeling strangely moral. <laughs> I'm feeling quite unwell, I think I might... Yes, yes, it's probably the peasants, the stench here. Sniff this, gets too much. So, let's bring the prisoners out and start with a little burning. Hmm? Now, you people seem to think that Robin Hood <laughs> and his men, they're worthy of your support and your encouragement. Well, we'll see. Luke, the Cooper of Loxley! Outlaw collaborator! Oh, no! I do forgive you. Uh. Alice of Loxley and her son, John. Outlaw sympathizers. Please, they had nothing to do with this. It is my doing. Oh, oh. gallantry. 
You see, Marion, it's not dead. Well, not yet. <laughs> Such a gallant intervention. Hmm? I wonder. I wonder how I could reward ah. that. Hmm? Oh, I wonder. Shall we have him crawl on the course first? Hmm? So gallant in the heat of the moment. Oh, so gallant. <laughs> now, shall the bowmaker go first or the apprentice? Decisions. Decisions. Get along there. Where are they closing the gate? Stop! Give me a knife. Bowmaker of Loxley, cross me and your family sucks. No, no, so, who's first? I know. The boy! No, oh, no. Break! Burn him! Burn him! No! no. Stop him! Take him! You never get out of that! Take him down! Take him! Do it! Do it! Stop him, you fuck! Charity starts at home, baby! <laughs> Not in my house! Kill him! <laughs> Stop it! Oh, you're all this! I am in command! Oh, okay. Devil, okay. Oh, my mind! Yours hurt! Torture children! You said you weren't a murderer. Not of men. This is a devil! Good answer! For a son's sake. Sorry, is meant leaving behind your home. 
Oh, I have gained something more precious. It's a shame little John can't go with them. He knows it's too late for that. We'd best get started. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> Luke is a good man, John. We can make a life together. You deserve that. Alice. You take care of yourself and our son. I will always remember. There's only one. Where's the other? I shall never forget! My father is a comrade of Robin Hood! Goodbye, my son. Him, I am proud to know. You, I'm stuck with. My like John, I made you a new staff. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs>